Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my talk today on how to get unstuck and build momentum towards your goals. Um, I'm, my name is Deirdre O'Rourke and I'm a hypnotherapist, mind and life coach and I run a therapy practice in Bray County Wicklow um, but I operate online in, in all areas and um, I operate under the name Awakenings Hypnotherapy, Mind and Life Coaching. In Awakenings we use hypnotherapy and mind coaching strategies to help our clients overcome the barriers that hinder them from living their lives to their full potential and becoming the very best versions of themselves. This talk is just one of a series of talks which took place every last weekend of the month in Mind and Body and can be found in their library, library or among my own live talks on my Facebook page, which, which can be found at Awakenings Coaching. Um, every subject that's covered in these talks is part of my Five Pillars Personal Empowerment course. And if you want to make any any further information on that, just um, send me a message. So, to get started today. Every transition begins with an ending. We have to let go of the old thing before we can pick up on a new, not just outwardly, but inwardly. So this is where it all starts. Are you feeling your life is stagnated and you don't know what to do? Are you looking for inspiration that will push you outside your comfort zone? Are you just comfortable and kind of bored with how your life is right now? Have you big goals but you just can't generate enough momentum to achieve them? If you're answering yes to any of these questions, chances are you've become a little bit stuck in your life and the way you're leading it at the moment. So maybe it's time to look at a few little tips and changes that can help you um, become a bit more unstuck and uh, start living your life more to the momentum. Hypnosis itself it can be defined as an altered state of awareness. It may resemble sleep, but only superficially. For a hypnotised person, it's definitely not asleep. It is a condition that also inc involves increased responsiveness and suggestibility, and in which the inner world of the imagination and feelings is granted a degree of importance, which is usually only given to outward, ordinary reality. It is self is really ordinary and unremarkable, and it is a state that you enter without realising and come out of several times in a normal day, be it driving to a place, a familiar place you, you had to a lot or going to the shops or just things that you do generally on a routine basis. Now, to reasons you could be stuck and are you feeling stuck? Are you feeling kind of stuck at the moment? Is your life stagnating? Are you going nowhere fast? Have you these goals you desperately like to achieve? However, for one reason or another, nothing is happening. Somewhere along the track, you've lost that motivation and drive and your life seems to be a standstill. Now, being stuck isn't very pleasant. You feel as though you've so much potential, so much to live up to, and yet there seems to be no forward movement. You go in circles. You probably often question what in the world is going on. How did I get myself into this situation? But when we examine it and, and take it apart a bit, there are actually very valid reasons why you're feeling stuck. And understanding these reasons can help you become aware of how you got yourself into this position. But awareness is only the first step. Change will only occur the moment you decide to make a change in your life. And for this to happen, you must believe you have the power within to make those changes in how you think, act and interpret your circumstances. Stagnation is only temporary if you don't take upon yourself to make changes for the better. It is, however, permanent if you give your power away and don't take the initiative to move forward with your purpose. So to look at some reasons in your life why you could be stuck. Constant worrying. Worrying preoccupies your thoughts. Unproductive habits. I know we all have them living in a comfort zone. They're just, we can constantly indulge in unproductive habits. These habits could be watching endless hours of television, mindlessly surfing the net, and a plethora of other things that rob you of your livelihood. 
the soft crone experience has has led to a lot of unproductive habits. We've even put a on a bit of mind warp. So it's time to look at them and then look ways of getting out of them. Constant disappointment, made mistakes in the past and failed or disappointed and disheartened. Limited hope for the future, disappointments make you feel helpless and helplessness manifest in your life as technation. Your thoughts feature on what can go wrong. It's time to look at things in a new light. Blurry vision of the future, maybe very little direction in life, no set goals, no purpose for living, nothing in life gets you excited, no exciting passions. And then, unwilling to take responsibility, to make excuses, blame others in circumstances, or complain about unfairness in life. You're physically and mentally strained as a result of ongoing stress and overwhelm. These emotions leave you with no energy to pursue anything meaningful. Lack of focus, no priorities, lack of self belief, fear of not being able to reach your desired expectations, and lack of inspiration. So we have to look at discovering new ways of inspiration. We have to find ways to become unstuck. First step we could take is acknowledge what needs to change. Once you acknowledge what things that need to change, you take time and reflect on your life and search for patterns. These patterns will help you to identify reasons why your life is the way it is at the moment. You can ask yourself some simple questions. What is causing my stagnation? What excuses am I making? What patterns am I seeing? What do I expect should happen? Excuses are only fueling your stuck state. It's important to acknowledge these excuses, but more important to throw them out the door. You will never get unstuck if you continue to make excuses about your life. Only by taking full responsibility for life and circumstances will you create the momentum you need to move forward. And then you need to gain clarity. Why am I doing what am I doing? It's a hundred million things a day, too busy doing everything and never time to actually consider anything. So again, to ask yourself some simple questions. What specifically am I doing? Who am I doing it for? Why am I doing this? You could be stuck for all the wrong reasons. You're stuck maybe because you're doing something for somebody else or for somebody's benefit. You need to figure out why you're doing what you're doing. You may find there's not a valid reason. And if so, you must stop doing these things and break away from this stuck state. It's time to figure out what you want to do instead. Ask yourself, what would I prefer to do instead? What are my goals? What are my aspirations? These goals and aspirations should now provide you with a sense of direction that will help you get unstuck. But then you have to query the valid reasons why you are stuck. What has been holding me back all this time? Do I have any fears that have held me back? What fears could be keeping me stuck? What about my habits? What unproductive habits do I indulge in? How are these habits hurting me? What new habits could I develop that would help support my goals? Gaining clarity about the specific habits and fears that might be holding you back will give you the insight you need to make positive changes in your life. Without this clarity, you will be lost and not know how to move forward. Step three, we need to re-evaluate what's most important for you. We need to re-evaluate the three important things in your life. Your life purpose, your core values, and your, source, your social circle. Again, some simple questions to ask. What is my life purpose? Is my life purpose right for me? Is it right for me at this very moment? Does it need to be modified in any way? Your life purpose what will get you up in the morning and force you to stay up late at night is something you are passionate about and something you will fight for despite the obstacles you might face. Once your life purpose is clarified, then think about your core values. Think about what do I value most in life? Why 
And what else do I value in life? Your core values will determine how to prioritize your life. If these priorities have meaning for you and are also aligned with your life purpose, they will help you to find the motivation you need to break free from your stuck state. If on the other hand there are conflicts, you might need to reevaluate your core values and priorities moving forward. And then, look at your social circle. Who's weighing you down? How are they holding you back? Your social circle would include mainly your family, friends, peers, colleagues, people with good intentions for you. But however good their intentions might be, they may be weighing you down and keeping you in a stuck state. This is especially true if you're doing certain things to please other people in order to meet their expectations of you. So it's important to gain some clarity about your social relationships that will help you determine the best course of action for you moving forward. And then step four, time to make an action plan, create a plan of action. But before you lay down a plan, take time to create a list of activities you're passionate about, what's true to you. Create a list of activities that support your core values. Create a list of ways for you to get unstuck. This will help you figure out how you should be prioritising your time moving forward. Creating a list of ways to get unstuck will build the foundations of your plan of action. Then ask yourself, what one small step could I take today that would help me get unstuck? You need to create a higher level motivation and urgency to help you move forward. Why must I get out of this rut? Why is it important to make this change? Why is it important to make this change right now? You also want ways build momentum, shake up your routine, connect with aspiring people, find ways to motivate yourself, get enough rest, find your courage, get a makeover, Volunteer your time to a good cause. Say yes, yes, yes for you. Hire an accountability partner. Create a bucket list. Anything that's true to your core values and that you're passionate about. So now there's a lot of things for you to think about and questions to ask yourself and to explore and to find ways of getting unstuck and getting in touch with a better you. So now a little bit of pleasure. Sit back, relax, close your eyes and take a little time for you and we'll have a hypnotherapy session on feeling unstuck. So when you're ready, settle into a comfortable chair, be firmly on the ground, making sure you will not be disturbed. Bring your awareness to your body. Are there any areas of tension? Feel a sensation of warmth beginning in your toes Coming up to your feet, into your ankles, calves, knees and thighs. Flowing into your pelvis and abdomen, up your chest and the length of your back. Caressing your shoulders, bring down your arms, into your hands and fingers and up over your scalp and face. If thoughts enter your mind, don't fight them. Instead they are butterflies and let them flutter in and out again. Or imagine their images flickering across the screen. Acknowledge the thought, then detach yourself from it. What you are concentrating on is your body and its comfort. Keep reminding yourself about this and forgive yourself if you get distracted and tense up. This is time for you. And now that you're in, and a state of relaxation, take yourself to that deeper part of you that knows all about you, that part of you that is always listening. You are listening to me today as you've decided that you would like to be free of this feeling of stuckness that is holding you back. And you've decided that you will no longer allow limitations to define who you are. To soften and relax into this present moment with comfort and ease. Know that all good things are flowing to you and with each breath 
Allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. You are peaceness, at peace, you are stillness. You know that your mind is very powerful and you have the ability to access that creative part of your mind to find a way to become unstable. You know that you have a free will to respond to any moment of life exactly as you want to. So take a deep breath and settle yourself. Feel yourself open and allow yourself to receive a little bit more. Nobody wants anything from you. Now, this is your special time. You are not the self you were yesterday. Today is a new day with new possibilities. You see each day as a new beginning, with fresh eyes and an opportunity to renew yourself daily. From this state of deep relaxation, you access your inner creativity and you allow a new response to surface. You allow yourself to open up you see this is an opportunity to embrace a changing perspective. You see that there are infinite possibilities. Every day, you feel more and more optimistic. You feel renewed and excited of the possibilities ahead. You realize that when you change your mind, you can change the situation. Your mind may want to cling on to these old familiar ways, these old comfortable ways. It could be dodging in a bad habit or an outworn self-image that no longer serves you. You now decide to break free from these old patterns of behaviour and find new ways of responding. On the count of three, you will release the past and to connect to what really matters in the now. Ready. One. Two, three, good, well done. As you release all of that old stuff, you feel an energy within. Now you are free, you are creative, you are growing. You are now free of those old ways of thinking. You are in charge of your mind. You now write the script of how you want your life to be. And I wonder what that new story looks like. Look at it. See that image of you, who you want to be, have it the qualities you want to, or already possess. What does your posture look like and the way you hold yourself? Hear the tone of voice of this new confident you, see the smile that lights up your face and feel what it is like to act in this new way. How do people respond to you? Now you have the opportunity to be exactly who you want to be. Feel that new energy you have unleashed. Being in the present moment, we are fulfilled when we can be who we want to be. You become more and more your true self. You respect yourself. You allow your emotions to guide you. You commit to each moment as a new and fresh experience. Today, you create a better version of yourself. You are open and allow your awareness to expand. You may choose to allow into your new life, new beliefs and attitudes that will set you free. You allow yourself to let go, to find your flow again, because it feels so good. You know, on a deeper level, that you are being supported and cared for. You find you no longer need to struggle, and this brings deep belief. You find that inner place of peace and calm and tap into your own deep sense of knowing with ease and awareness. Each day, you are more and more willing to live your truth and allow more and more joy to enter your life. You focus on what brings you joy, love and creativity. You feel more and more hopeful for the new beginnings that are entering your life and you are aware of the new possibilities opening up to you. You know that these changes are pushing you towards who you are meant to be and you embrace these changes. As you embrace these changes, you feel fresh, alive and vibrant. You allow yourself to step into the life you deserve, free from limitations. Each day, 
you celebrate your uniqueness, allowing all the good things to come into your life, more love, more joy, more creativity. You allow all of these positive changes to come into your life. Each day, the next step of your journey unfolds, allowing your dreams to come true effortlessly and easily. You find that this expansiveness improves your communication with others. You are more cooperative, more relaxed, more loving, more open, more harmonious. Your appreciation of others grows and you give love and encouragement. All is fresh and new, like opening a window and letting the fresh air and sunshine. You embrace the newness of this day, revitalized, restored and renewed. And now it's time to wake up. So I'm going to count from five to one. And when I get to one, you can open your eyes and you'll be wide awake and fully alert, feeling good inside and better than you've done for a long, long time. You're feeling excited and energized about the adventure ahead. So here we go. Five, slowly waking, waking. Four, feeling the energy coming up through your body. Three, feeling good inside, working a little bit more, more and more away. On two, and fully awake on one. Well done. I hope you enjoy that and found some benefit. This talk is just one of my series of talks which take place every last weekend of the month in Mind and Body. Previous talks can be found in the library of Mind and Body or among my live talks on my Facebook page, which can be found at Facebook Awakenings Coaching Live. Every subject covered in my talks is also part of my Five Pillars Empowerment course. And just send me a message if you'd like further information about this or anything we discussed today. And if you want to check out my business, my website, www.awakeningscoaching.ie, my Facebook, Awakenings Coaching, or if you email me for further advice, or some small complimentary um, hypnotherapy sessions I can send your way. So on that note, I hope you're feeling a bit renewed and a bit more aspiration about the life and day ahead for you. So go out and enjoy the day and thank you very much for listening to me today. Thank you. Goodbye.